בלוי משין. הצד שם אבסרדיטי זה נייס. Siemanko, z tej strony Geeks. Witajcie w kolejnym odcinku z gry Disco Elysium. Kontynuujemy sobie śledztwo w sprawie przemytu narkotyków. Wpadłem jeszcze na chwilę do Evrarta, aby się podzielić z nim informacjami na temat mojego śledztwa, a właściwie oskarżeniami, ponieważ ze śledztwa wychodzi na to, że związek miał z tym coś wspólnego, jak i sami chłopacy Hardiego. No ale oczywiście Everard nie był z tego powodu zadowolony. Mr. Dubois, every worker for himself, right? What can I do for you today? Dobra, mogę mu jeszcze powiedzieć to, że zakończyłem właśnie śledztwo w sprawie lokalnego handlu narkotykami. Ah, yes, your side investigation. Thank you. You've got some spirit clearing up phony drug accusations alongside this murder. I'll talk to the mayor and see if I can get you the key to the city, Harry. Now let's talk real business. Not even a speck of anger in his voice. That's that then. Okay. Przy okazji też zwróciłem mu zadanko z otwarciem drzwi u pewnego pana. I myślałem, że pomoże mi w zdobyciu broni, lecz niestety on po prostu dał mi jeszcze jedno kolejne zadanie, które ma mi ma jakoś udowodnić przed nim, że jestem godny zaufania. Już troszeczkę mam go dosyć, mówiąc szczerze. No ale dobra, zobaczymy co z tego pójdzie. Przy okazji, przy tym śledztwie pojawiło się jeszcze takie zadanko. Porozmawiaj z chłopakami Hardiego o handlu narkotykami. Właśnie idę do nich, żeby to zrobić. Także za chwilę do Was wrócę. W porządku, jesteśmy z powrotem w Wearing in Rags. No i cóż, trzeba zagadać z Hardim na ten temat. Zobaczymy co on ma. The circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Titus nie wygląda na zachwyconego twoim widokiem. No dobra. A, Everard kazał mi współpracować. Rozmawiałem z Everardem. Zapewni mnie, że będziecie współ... że będziesz współpracować. O, so you went and talked to my mommy. And now she's making me play with you. Is that it, Lawman? Dokładnie tak. And what's gonna happen if we don't? You gonna go and tell on us? I ja patam kosiorze. I ryto im nie dalej, to może się przekonasz komuśie. You gonna let him talk to me like that, Titus? Z poczuciem krzywdy odwraca wzrok na na wielko luda. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I am, you big pussy. The old man sent word you'd be around again. That's the reason I'm being so forthcoming with you. Don't wear it out. Mam u niego też bardzo ważny rzut na władczość. Okaż władczość. Mam teraz plus dwa, dlatego że Evrad poprosił o współpracę. To jest bardzo ważny rzut i bardzo ważne zadanie w ogóle z perspektywy gry, ale można jeszcze zrobić parę fajnych rzeczy, żeby sobie to prawdopodobieństwo podbić. Dobra, zagadam jeszcze o tych narkotykach. Niespodzianka, powiązałem was z lokalnym handlem narkotykami. Black hell you have. There is no local drug trade. This place is as clean as a rifle. Go back to Jamrock and ask the local junkies how clean your streets are in precinct 41 kilos. Oh, nie. Nie najeżdżaj na mój komisariat, Knido. We'll do that. In the meantime, did you know that there's an abandoned lorry at the intersection that was used to move raw ingredients for drugs from Terminal B to Jamrock? 
The person driving it was present at the hanging. It was one of you. We've connected the footprint. Detective, do you want to deliver the coup de grâce? Mm-hmm. Czyli czas łaski? No, the thunder is his. Leave it to the lieutenant. Nie, ty czyń honory. Zasłużyłeś na to. Kiwnij porocznikowi głową. Thank you. You're right, Titus. There is no local drug trade, because it's all controlled by you. You're the drug trade. <laughs> that's a mighty interesting theory. I guess that's what you would need to do, theoretically. A big, strong, state-run monopoly would outcompete the runs on the street. Yeah, man. Theoretically, that's what you would do. To get rid of the gangs, the dealers, even some of the junkies. Mm -hmm. You would need good, trustworthy people to take their place, of course. Hardy men to run such a monopoly. For the good of the community, of course. Hardych ludzi, mówisz? Hmm. Tak, tak sobie wmawiajcie. Ja wiem na pewno, że wciąż jest tu pełno prochów. Albo powiem obrzydliwe, przyznajcie się do zarabiania na truci swoich własnych ludzi. Boo fucking who. People will always be taking drugs. Might as well do it clean and organized. Zwane podejście. Yeah, that's what the labor movement is all about. Clean and organized. And the hardy boys are running it. Theoretically, of course. We're just talking politics here. My answer to your drug accusation is how dare you go fuck yourself. <laughs> Not quite yet, Mr. Hardy. There were eight sets of prints on the crime scene. There are only seven Hardy boys here. Ta usma Hardy, ta której tutaj nie ma, to ona tu rządzi, nie? My answer is fuck off. Mind your own business. There is no eighth hardy. I run this goddamn scene. Oj, ściemniaczu, ściemniaczu. Finally, you got something out of him. This could prove useful in the future. And here we go. Back to the usual. Oj, cicho tam, prawniczko. I know, I know. Fatty walked on all fours. He's so fucking fat, he left two sets of footprints. <laughs> So Go fuck your mom, Dennis. That's more like it, boys. You heard him. It was Angus on all fours. Anything else you need to know? A, na pewno Angus na czworaka. Dobra, zadanko się zakończyło. Wpadły jakieś, jakieś punkty expa. I zobaczcie. Mam jeszcze plus jeden do tego rzutu na władczość. Plus jeden za to, że wiedzą, że wiesz o handlu narkotykami. Czyli już 42% szans. Ale ja chcę to podbić jeszcze bardziej. Trzeba jeszcze zrobić parę ruchów. Dobra. Skoczymy sobie teraz do Joyce. Powiem jej o wyniku śledztwa. Tylko jeszcze sobie zerknę na te wpisy. Wykonane. Osoba obecna przy linczu jest też zamieszana w handel narkotykami w porcie, co sugeruje, że chłopaki Hardiego mogą brać w tym udział. Zobacz, co ma na ten temat do powiedzenia Titus. Dobrze, dobrze, dobrze. Bardzo ciekawe. Lecimy sobie do Joyce. Wykonamy zadanko tajemnica korka i dowiemy się od razu jakie ma informacje o linczu właściwie. Aż powiem wam, że ta intryga robi się coraz ciekawsza. Myślałem, że to jakieś lokalne porachunki na początku, a to wychodzi na to, że to są porachunki między Związkiem Robotników a White Pines. Przynajmniej tak to wygląda teraz. Ale motyw jeszcze nie jest do końca znany. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Porozmawiałem z kierowcami na rondzie. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? 
Okej, okay, kolejny punkcik. Mam już cztery punkty w zapasie. Nice. Czego zdałam się dowiedzieć? Chwila, gdzie dokładnie macie swoje oczy? It doesn't really matter. And I do apologize for the surveillance. Wild pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Yes. Of course, detectives. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. No właśnie, przydaj się na coś. Nie będę protokół tak, ale sytuacja situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. Okay. The words bloodbath sound cold in her mouth. They taste of iron and strawberries. Smakuje żelazem i truskawkami. Boże, ta pomroczność jest straszna czasami. Czy ja usłyszałem rzezi? Yes. I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small-scale civil war, with possible consequences for all of Rivershall West. Oy, oy, oy. Since you are sharing land, this is also the RCM's worst-case scenario. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. Słyszałem już o związku Lynchu ze strajkiem, ale potrzebne mi pani zeznania. I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a... Momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. Jezu, ależ cedzi słowa, co? Chwilowy kryzys lojalności. Skorzystali z usług prywatnej firmy wojskowej, czyli co? Ja zapytam, chwilowy kryzys lojalności? They were dispatched after I relayed the union's initial offer. Every worker. A member of the board. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. They did not appreciate the humor. Potrzebna jest pani ochrona? Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the union into surrendering. No to im się kurde udało. Wychuśtali jednego. Who are they exactly? Cronel, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons and years of combat experience. Whoa. They also have trauma and stressor disorder and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the Colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. Czyli jednak ta historia się spina. Czyli tam ci ludzie nie kłamali. Czyli wygląda na to, że ten powieszony rzeczywiście próbował zgwałcić jakąś kobietę. He was taken out behind the whirling in rags and lynched last Sunday night. Kurde, tutaj niby wszyscy wiedzą, co się stało, kto ich zabił i tak dalej, a my jako policja nie możemy z tym nic zrobić, bo to jest jakieś totalne bezprawie. No dobra, i co dalej? Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders for now. Póki co? It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. What the fuck? Chcą zorganizować niezależny trybunał wojskowy? I co, i na karę śmierci ich posłać, czy co? What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Wow. It will be all of them. The decision is already made. Narobiliście tu bałaganu, tak powiem. It was the Union who strung him from that tree. 
My hope is that you provide a single concrete suspect before Cronell indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, right. if you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the union to respond. Of Morda. No, jak wymordują wszystkich chłopców Hardiego, to będzie niezła, niezła wojna. The debater have over two thousand men. It will be a thousand to one. Właśnie. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. Okay. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. Most union workers don't have guns at all. Okay. Widzę, że w nich wierzy. As I said, a bloodbath. No kurde. Maybe a good bloodletting is just what Martinez needs. Jesus, umroczne się, spokój się. Houses drenched in red. Blood gushing down Rue de Saint-Cispar. The whole place mocked with a giant red rag. Fresh bullet holes for all the old buildings. Zadrzy. It will not be a pretty sight. Hmm. Nie sądzę, żeby miało do tego dojść. By dużo rzeczy musiałoby pójść nie tak. Too many things have already gone wrong. Nameless, badgeless detective of the citizens militia. Oh, niezły przytek widzę. All we can do is keep that which is not from following suit. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Hmm. Czy muszę wskazać jednego podejrzanego, bo inaczej będzie rzeźnia. Dobra, co może mi pani powiedzieć o Krenel? Co to jest Krenel? Not much. Their public resume is relatively good, ah, as okay. far as private military contractors go. I no believe tak. they were once called Downwell. They boast a long list of clients. Saint-Baptiste, Welchman Lorenz, Eendracht. A warning sign, however. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world countries. Guarding facilities, escort missions and such. Strasznie lubię tego określenia. Kraj trzeciego świata lub czwartego. Tak jakby niektóre kraje były gorsze. Meaning they are used to operating in war zones. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Supramundi, Yesut, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Dobrze. Ma pani na nich coś jeszcze? Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. Okay. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I'd be dealing with a group like Cronell. Mogłaby pani powiadomić firmę, powiedzieć, żeby ich odwołali? I have, and they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here. Until they do, it's all on us. Hmm. Mówiła pani, że zabity zaatakował kobietę? Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers loitering around the canal. I cannot testify by it. Hmm. Czyżby kuno? I co ci nastolatkowie powiedzieli? A bo nie. A kto ją dokładnie przekazał? The remaining contractors. Their tribunal. It's what they believe. Dobra, i co ci nastolatkowie powiedzieli? That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. Hmm. Ciekawe, czy to rzeczywiście prawda. The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Odd. Oh, we haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Where did it take place? And when? Last Sunday night, at the Whirling in Rags, the hostel by the gates. Supposedly, the colonel was drunk, 
Maybe on narcotics, too. Mm -hmm. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. Kim była ta kobieta? That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor about a rumor. In any case, it's what the colonel's remaining colleagues believe. Ten pułkownik, którego powieszono, znała go pani? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes, but I did not know him. Nazywał się... Lely, his service name, a nom de guerre, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Mm -hmm. Proszę powiedzieć mi najpierw o pozostałych. One is a man. Courty, they call him. A nickname as well. The other a woman, Phyllis de Paul. Courty is the gunner, I believe. De Paul is a radio operator. Okay. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased. Czy wie pan, jak, jaki był kolor oczu Denata? She closes her eyes, trying to picture the man's face. Then she shakes her pytania. head. I can't remember. W jej głosie pobrzmiewa rozczarowanie. That's all right, man. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? He was 40. Or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age, or gauge his facial expressions. Mm -hmm. What else? Nationality? Accent? He was, uh, occidental, I think. Light brown hair, a mixed accent, or an ease. Or Mycenaean, maybe. His injury gave him an accent all his own. Mm -hmm. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it, through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. Okay. Must be hard to force your face to move in a new fashion. If you continue like this, you'll have an aneurysm. Then you'll have to. To. <laughs> so. Dobra. Gdzie są teraz pozostali najemnicy? They've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens militia as I do. To put it bluntly, they think you're vigilantes, ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. You should show those meatheads exactly how savage you really are. Porozmawiamy sobie z nimi. Bezpośrednio. Did you miss the part about ceramic armor and automatic weapons, detective? <laughs> that is a bad idea. One I won't be a party to. Ooh, mam rzut na logikę. 97% szans. Czekajcie, mam strasznie dużo plusów, że aż mi się nie mieszczą na ekranie. Plus jeden, że z rozkazu pańs. Plus jeden, że zła odpowiedź przywódcy łamistrajków co do morderstwa. Plus jeden, że ubrania nie pasowały. Na kogo nie pasowały? Nie pamiętam już. Plus jeden, że przywódca łami strajków potężny jak mur. I plus dwa, nie zgadzało się jego pochodzenie. No okej. Okay. W sumie to ciekawe. No dobra. To robimy ten rzut. Gdzie ci najemnicy są? 97% szans. Jak to nie wypali, to sobie strzelę w łeb chyba. One is obviously the no. scab leader at the harbor gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. Okay. Czyli przywódca łami strajków to jest jeden z nich. Ale jajca. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry joy. Ten oprych w niedopasowanym ubraniu przy bramie do portu. Przywódca łami strajków. To musi być jeden z nich. That may be so. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? 
Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? Your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. Dobrze powiedziane, Kim. Dobra, jeden z nich jest zapewne w budynku górującym nad rondem. Ciekawe skąd ja to wiem, Iga. That would afford a good vantage point. In any case, it's practically inaccessible. To w sumie mógłby być ten strzelec, wiecie. Sniper na jakiejś wieży czy coś. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. There's a short wave at the ship's wheel. Gestem wskazuje kabinę na łodzi. Dobra, mam do pani inne pytanie. I hope I can answer it better. To jest dobre pytanie. Ile mamy czasu? Until the executions start. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Oops. Dobra, na razie wystarczy. I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. If there is anything else I can help you with, please oh. ask. Nowe pytanko się pojawiło, ale jeszcze sobie zapiszę. Na wypadek, gdyby był jakiś czerwony test. A może mi pani opowiedzieć o tych tatuażach? Pokaż jej zdjęcie. Sięga po zdjęcie ponad sztormrelingiem. Sztormrelingiem. Jezu. Stoi tak, trzymając je w dłoni. For about half a minute in silence. It was taken with a trigger not long ago. This is the man's upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. Zachowaj milczenie. Obserwuj twarz kobiety. Her mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The pearls of her eyes move slowly on the photo's surface. Co pani o tym sądzi? Uh, sorry, I was trying to see. If I can read the web of interdependencies between these points, the stars. Okay. Wskazuje na jeden z arkuszy. I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location on the body and distance from each other tells you what they represent. Pewnie już nie pamiętacie, ale ten tatuaż wyglądał jak taka siatka, jakieś połączenie. Może jak jakiś gwiazdy, gwiazdozbiór, coś w tym stylu. Mm, dlatego zapytam, jak gwiazdy na niebie? Close. Port Cities. This is an Oranese map of the waterways. A sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the Dolorian century. Okay. Over 300 years ago. The sailors would mark their bodies to map their travels. Wow. To mapa szlaków wodnych. Dobra, czemu ma służyć ta mapa? The sailor's soul would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad. This is a sort of contraption to be reeled back in by. The silver cord, they would call it. Hmm. Jakie podróże odbył zabity? Quite a few. Vredefort, the Oranese capital, traditionally stands on the right shoulder. He started somewhere near here, I think. Wow. Czy on sobie wytatuował mapę miejsc, w których był? Morską mapę. Ciekawa. What next? Then he made his way to the Preto Grandi, through what I think must be the Stutz Canal, an artificial channel through the Occident. From the Preto, he sailed to the Insulindic Ocean, first the Semenese Islands, then this. Wskazuje na jego serce. Co to? Revachol. Those are the two constants. Vredefort on the shoulder and Revachol in the heart. They started the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulinde, at the dawn of the Interislary Age. You said you can't read it. I can't. This man was no sailor, and these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. Pojawił się jakiś nowy wpis w tym kwestie o tatuażach. 
Czy tu się zakończyły? Gdzie są te tatuaże? Aha, że mam jeszcze kogoś spytać. No dobra. Ale powiedz mi jeszcze, kto mógłby powiedzieć mi coś więcej? His platoon members? The other contractors. Though I do not suggest you go and show them that picture. This man was their friend and comrade. Słusznie. Challenge accepted. I say we do it. <laughs> A nie podpuszczaj mnie. Hmm. Mogę to wpisać do grafiku albo nie. Potrzebuję tych informacji. Zapisz na tatniku, zapytać najemników o tatuaże. Nie, dobra. Ma pani rację, to nie jest dobry pomysł. Nie wpisuj tego do grafiku. I am relieved you think so. I don't think deciphering that tattoo should come before public security. Dobra, to tyle jeśli chodzi o tatuaże. Dziękuję za pomoc. Is there anything else I can help you with? Pamiętam, że jeszcze u niej był jakiś rzut. Tak, niech spojrzę sobie na mapę. Tak. Na Esprit de Corps. Nie wiem o co chodzi z tym scrollem, jest jakiś zepsuty. Rzut na Esprit de Corps. Chyba jak przy pytaniach o rzeczywistość. Dobra. Mam do pani więcej pytań o rzeczywistość. Uuu, nice. Dobra, to po kolei. Co to jest ostra encefalopatia? Nie pamiętam kiedy o tym wspomniała, ale spoko. It's a neurological disorder caused by a lack of vitamin B in the brain. Symptoms include a retrograde amnesia. It's quite serious. You should get yourself checked out. Wow. She conveys it in short, cold bursts, trying not to invest too deeply in the condition of this doomed detective. In case he goes down later, souring the entire portfolio. Hmm. Wiem, że wiele ode mnie zależy. Nie zawiodę pani. It's not just me, detective. All of Martinez has placed its chips on your success. I pray we've all bet wisely. Co powoduje encefalopatię? Well, it's either bariatric surgery or long-term alcohol use. Oops. Hmm. O, w takim razie to pewnie kwestia operacji. Albo dobra, będę szczery. To alkohol, zdecydowanie. She nods slowly. What this boils down to is this reality thing is stupid. Blow this joint. Grab a bottle and drain that shit right down your throat. Wait, wait. This reality thing is the only game in town. It's probably in your interest not to blow it. Hmm. Kurczę, i zobaczcie, mogę podążyć za tą rządzą albo nie. Zobaczymy, co się stanie. Mam e, imprezę do zaliczenia. Teraz, zaraz, odejdź. Of course. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Okej. Okay. No dobra, jeszcze raz. Zobaczcie, dzięki temu. Go ahead, ask me anything. Mam rzut na konceptualizację. Dzięki temu, że ukończyłem myśl Rzemy W, mam aż plus 12 do tego rzutu. Jest to rzut na konceptualizację. Jeszcze sobie go podbiję. Bo chyba mam jakieś ubranka, które dają konceptualizację. Tak jest, tam koszulę. Czy coś jeszcze mam? I marynarkę. Plus 2 do konceptualizacji. Przepięknie. Chyba więcej nie trzeba. No nawet nie mam nic więcej. You're back. Good. No dobra. More lessons in basic reality. 92%. Czym jest? Wybierz coś fundamentalnego w nawiasie. What is all of this? The scent, the sound, the air. Wow. Bardziej ogólnego pytania nie było. Co to za świat? What world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. 
and its pale antipode. Jego szarotowe antypody. Znowu ta szarota. To ciekawe. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. Co pani widzi? Great bodies of water, forest-covered surfaces, clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. Wow, jaka poetka z niej. There is a term of endearment they coin for it in the Delorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. Hmm. Jak ona brzmi, to określenie? Elysium. Elysium. Uh. Disco Elysium, czyli świat disco? No dobra. Elysium. Świat potrzebuje pieszczotliwego określenia. It does. There are those who would call it hell. Czym jest piekło? A term of hatred that originates like many such things with the mest petro fascists. Hmm. Nie wydaje mi się, żebym miał już pełen obraz sytuacji. Oh, you want a picture of the world? There is no complete set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. Jak to? Great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. Czy ona mówi o rzucie izometrycznym gry? What the fuck? Od wewnątrz z ukosa? To jaki świat ma kształt? We used to think it was a sphere, but that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids, but the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. ORG, Occident Rivershaw Grad. Okay. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark grey corona. Ciemna, szara korona? Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. There are grey flares and prominences, even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. Co oni znowu o tej szarocie gadają? Szarota pokrywa 72% powierzchni. Hmm. Jest taka książka do kupienia w tej grze o szarocie. Muszę ją obczaić. A cold fear seeps into you. Szarota? I jaka znowu korona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. Wow. I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together. However naive it may sound. Urda rozkmina. Spękana korona nie brzmi jak coś, co mogłoby kogokolwiek połączyć. You have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's... It's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You'd love it. Hmm. No, skoro mówi pani, że to disco? See? Everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world, however wasted its opportunities. The cold seeps into you. The air is heavy with 80% humidity. Ależ to były rozkminy o świecie, co? Co miało jego pochodzeniu, kształcie i cholera wie czym jeszcze. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. The lieutenant observes you both silently. He adjusts his glasses. Hmm. 
No dobra, mam jeszcze rzut właśnie na Esprit de Corps. Czym jest? Pomyśl o czymś blisko ciebie. O, ale zanim to zrobię. Wspomniała pani o szarocie. Co to jest? No właśnie. The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. Yes. Also, I think we've had enough excitement for today. Remember, we have a cadaver to attend to. No da. Of course, Lieutenant. Let's try something else. Nie chcę. Chcę wiedzieć, czym jest szarota. I don't think your colleague would appreciate that. He has already been so patient with this whole exercise. Let's continue with something else. All right? You can ask about anything else in the world. Anything. Hmm. Mam rzut na siłę woli. Bo mam siłę woli 6. 97% szans. Kim mi ufa, więc mam plus 1. Poproś Kima, żeby się oddalił na czas twojej rozmowy o szarocie. No robię to. Good idea. Just ask him. He won't make a scene. Dobra. Kim, mógłbym chwilę porozmawiać z panią na osobności? Fajnie. Odpowiada odchodząc ze swoimi notatkami. See? What can he do? You're a grown man. No dobrze, to czym jest szarota? Are you sure you're sure? Your colleague seemed adamant. Mam nadzieję, że mnie nie zabije ten dialog. Tak, czym jest szarota? Okay. The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the islers. It is the interislary mass. Masa międzyisolarna. Dominująca cecha geologiczna świata. Coś jakby rodzaj materii? Chwila, co to jest isola? Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation or land mass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Siedem isoli. Ciekawa. Windy, Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this Insulinde. A uh, Insulinde to? An oceanic isola. It comprises mostly of water. Windy is the largest, Katla the coldest, Insulinde the bluest. What can I say? Each is perishing and dear. Hmm. Każda z nich jest obrzydła i droga zarazem? O Jezu. No dobrze. A jaka jest szarota? Achromatic. Odorless. Featureless. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. It is not like any other or anything in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothingness. Czy ona jest tutaj? Rozejrzyj się. No, detective. We're safe. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isla. What the hell? A tam? Skaż na północ. An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale. Rolling. Evaporating, even. A great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called porch collapse. Wow, ależ mają fazę ci twórcy. Imagine a grey coronal mist, cold vapor marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism, a mold that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's uh, the most disco thing you will ever see. Wow. You hear your pulse rise. The air feels caustic and cold suddenly. Jakie są jej fizykalne właściwości? It's difficult to describe or even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical, epistemological, linguistic. The further into pale you travel, the steeper the degree of suspension. Right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. It may be impossible. Wow. 
Skoro otacza nas szarota, to jak można przedostać się z jednej isoli na drugą? To jest dobre pytanie. Oh, it is so difficult for us. A squall of birds. Hardware operating in the harbor. Firm. Self-evident. Dzięki słuchu. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude, bouncing radio waves from one end to the other, shortening the path. But it is still hard for humans to navigate the pale without getting lost. Aha. Or having our minds damaged. Kurde, szarota może uszkodzić umysł? Extensively. Wow, w jaki sposób? Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading, that it's rarefied past, not rarefied matter. They call it the blend over of the self. The pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology, maybe history even. The human mind becomes overradiated by past. Wow, jak to uczucie? Jakie to uczucie, to przepromieniowanie? It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of pale exposure per year. I tak sobie teraz myślę, czy te wspomnienia z dziennika, które zabiły Harego, to nie było właśnie, nie było działanie tej szaroty? To by się zgadzało. To, co ona powiedziała, że umysł ludzki zostaje przepromieniowany przeszłością. Interesujące. Dobra, pani nie jest cywilną pasażerką? No, nameless detective of the citizens militia. I am a member of the entrepreneurial business class. I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. 22 dni podróż, podróży szarotowych. Perhaps that explains her strange pining after the revolution. Some degraded early memories. Może? Czy kierowcy ciężarówek przekraczają szarota? Yes. Carried in the hulls of airships. It's a horrific job. Automation will abolish it soon. A pani jest przepromieniowana? Up to my gills, officer. An acidic smile on her lips. It's getting worse every year. Co to jest entroponeza? Entropenetics is the scientific study of the pale, or a recent iteration of it by way of grad. The study of the pale reaches back 6,000 years. The Periconarsians called it the Western Plain. Czy oni je przekroczyli, te zachodnie równiny? There are signs of pre-modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. Co w takim razie zmieniła antropometyka? Nothing. We remain powerless before the Pale. The only real advance in pale transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less effects later. Aerostat? Hybrid airships, detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity after the point of reference for motion is suspended. Once you've crossed from near pale to far pale. Wow. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we throw them precisely. A jeśli nie? Then they don't. Dobra, dokończę jeszcze tę rozmowę o szarocie. Odcinek będzie bardzo długi, ale trudno. Ile jest szaroty w porównaniu z całą objętością świata? The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is more pale than there is matter. And the ratio is slipping. Szarota ma przewagę nad rzeczywistością. To jest ciekawe, co to za dziwna materia, która nie jest rzeczywistością. No dobra, nie stała na naszą niekorzyść, czyli... Czy... What do you think, detective? Rośnie? Szaroty jest coraz więcej i więcej. 
Precisely. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. Kurde, strach pomyśleć, jak cały świat to panuje. An intuitive conclusion of that development is that one day the pale will cover everything. But this sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. Pokryje wszystko? To niemożliwe. Gdzie byśmy się podzieli? Albo im, ale w tym nie ma nic ekstremalnego. To się przecież stanie. Most people, and indeed most private and government sector organizations, Entire civilizations and religions even find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. I suggest you do the same. It doesn't look like you're doing the same. The suggestion was meant in earnest, detective. Live life. Live life. Bo zaraz się może skończyć. Dobra. Powróćmy proszę do rzeczywistości. Yes, sweet reality. But before we do, tell me, detective. Is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? Wyczuwam czasem jakieś niejasne cienie przeszłości i nie jest ona wesoła, tak powiem. Then tell me, what do you think of the pale? O kurcze. A kim ja jestem, żeby myśleć o niej cokolwiek? Dobra, powiem, to, że wciąż trwamy, jest dowodem na wiarę, jaką żywimy w siebie nawzajem. Mm -hmm. O, to była moralistyczna wypowiedź, bo dostałem morale. Jej oczy nie ruchomieją, kurze łapki wyraźnie oznaczają się na jej twarzy. Obserwuję cię, twoje przekrwione oczy i spuchniętą twarz. Your ailing constitution. Sweaty forehead, the beads there, and your heavy breathing. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then. To śledztwo będzie moim opus magnum, tym co sprawi, że zostanę zapamiętany. Obiecuję. I hope so. I truly do. If I may suggest. Hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile... Some of that assurance is meant for herself, as much as it's meant for you. She must have a lot on the line here. No, no. You have me. I will assist you in any way I can, even if we no, have to do it one basic term at a time. Good. You have not passed out from it. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we do actual police work now? No, dobrze. Bierzmy się do pracy, poruczniku. Good luck, detectives. O, to była ciekawa rozmowa, ale długa. Na tym zakończymy sobie odcinek. Pamiętajcie o łapce w górę i subskrypcji, jeżeli chcecie otrzymywać powiadomienia. Widzimy się w kolejnych odcinkach. Trzymajcie się i wszystkiego dobrego. Cześć.